Hey everybody, the home theater project is underway and this will be the theater room. All this wood is the riser. So I am making a uh, almost 16 inch riser for the back seat. I'm using 2 by 12s and treated 2 by 4 lumbers for the contact with the cement. Pink insulation to absorb some bass sound, some uh, big roll of roofers felt, and a really big space. You can see one of the uh, 2x12s against the wall right there. So I got myself set up. Time to start building. Okay, let's see where we're at. I have laid down the foundation pieces. Notice they are treated lumber, treated just for the bottom layer where it touches the concrete rather than using plastic and untreated lumber. This front part here is my step and the step will be about 8 inches and the back will be 16 inches. Also had to do a little work uh, moving up my outlets and that one's going to feed underneath underneath and over to the front of the step so I can plug in my chairs. The top one right there will feed the back row and this one here is a conduit which runs up the wall and all the way out of the soundproof room. Okay just to give you an idea of how thick these walls are this is a piece I cut out for the electrical outlet over there. It's 2 5 8 drywall and it's uh, quite a block separated by green glue soundproofing and acoustic seal, acoustic uh, caulking. So the whole room is sealed and now it's time to put up my big boards. Okay, the step is done. The step just needs the surface. Wiring is finished. I've run my electrical and I just ran a conduit from the face of the step all the way through the riser coming up at the back, behind the back row. I will run my butt kicker wire, or speaker wires through that and into the wall conduit, which is there. Now it's time for the pink. Pink insulation is in. Now it's time for a layer of roofer's felt. That'll help prevent vibrations and rattles. And then I'll put on uh, the oriented strand board, tongue and groove. I'll put on, uh, I'm putting on three quarters, another layer of roofer's felt, then I'm putting five eighths, another layer of roofer's felt, and then I'm putting three quarters again. That should give a nice solid base. And uh, there shouldn't be any echoing or anything. The reason we put the pink in here is that this will become a base trap. I'm going to put vents in the corners and along the back and that will give me a chance to absorb some of those annoying uh, base sounds that get stuck in the corners. Well, the riser is done except for the carpet. All the sheeting is being put on top. You can see I have three layers, three quarters, five eighths, three quarters, and uh, there is a sheet of roofer's felt, 30 pound in between each of those. That helps get rid of any vibrations that may occur with the uh, base the step. I've only put two, but it is a standard step. About uh, eight inches up on each. In the corner, 
to get rid of uh, or help relieve the pressure from axial modes because in the corners and the boundaries of the room they're going to be at their peak. I put in vents that go to nowhere. Let's see if I can pull that up for you. Or maybe not that one. There you go, down to the pink insulation inside. You can see how thick that is. Right there. Nice sturdy platform. So this will help relieve the pressure from the axial modes. Uh, one right in the corner where the pressure would be at its peak. I've got another one here, another one here, and one over here in this other corner. Could have put in more, but I think that will do it. So, until the carpet comes in, that is finished. The carpet is done. Home theater chairs have been brought down. And we're just sort of putting them into place. All right, folks, the riser is done. Chairs are in place, carpet's in, and it is looking mighty fine. There's a close-up. You can see that first step. There's the power outlets that let me power the chairs, the power recliners. And here is the top level, 16 inches up. Hidden in the corner, you can see the base traps. There's one right there. More power behind. All nicely hidden by the home theater chairs in the back row. Gives me seven seats up there, three seats in the front. Hope you liked that uh, video. Be sure to check out uh, the others at the end of this video. You'll see links there. You can check out the popcorn maker niche, the front uh, entrance to the theater, and even building the theater itself, getting the screen wall built, the speakers and the ceiling up there. All of it. All right, click like, and we'll see you soon. Click one of these videos for more great Burt Bunch TV. And don't forget to subscribe. And here is the finished popcorn niche. The home theater is finished on the inside. It's time to take a look. You can see I've got the movie posters on the walls.